And one insect has taken that to the extreme, twisting its venom for a diabolical purpose that's like something out of science fiction, turning another animal into a zombie. These are the emerald jewel wasps. In this lab at the University of California, Riverside, researchers want to know how the wasp's chemical arsenal evolved to completely control her host. So I first became fascinated with venoms because they represent a kind of chemical warfare. Jewel wasps are parasitoids. They paralyze their prey so their offspring can live off them. After decades of research, scientists are beginning to understand the secrets of parasitoid venom. Females do battle with a host who is plentiful, widely available, and six times her size. The American Cockroach. Researcher Chris Banks has devised an ingenious method to experiment with the wasp's venomous attack. We're going to put a wasp and a cockroach into this area right here and let them interact. We've also included glass vials here and these will serve as makeshift burrows for the wasp. An unsuspecting host is first introduced to the arena. The roach is unaccustomed to threats from smaller animals. The stage for the battle is set and the wasp is released. As soon as the jewel wasp senses a host, she will surprise her prey and use that brief moment to her advantage. She attacks. The wasp's first sting is brilliantly strategic, just enough to disarm the roach. The first time it stings it into the central nervous system and causes a temporary paralysis of the front legs. Venom hits the roach's nervous system in between its front legs, briefly paralyzing them. This allows the wasp to do a second, much more precise sting into the brain. The wasp twists its body around the roach so it can sting into its brain and inject the zombifying mixture. The roach's breathing slows. It makes no move to escape. This brain sting causes a dramatic behavioral change in the cockroach, basically turning it into a zombie. Wasp venom is precisely engineered to shut down signals carried by a key brain chemical called dopamine. In humans and other animals, dopamine is a naturally occurring chemical messenger in the brain. It regulates movement and sensation. With its dopamine knocked out, the roach cannot move freely or escape. Millions of years of evolution have refined this wasp's ability to hit her target and disrupt dopamine with the precision of microscopic brain surgery. This remarkable skill isn't learned, it's inherited, hardwired into each wasp. They are natural-born neurosurgeons. To regain some of the energy the wasp has lost through her stings, she clips the ends of the roach antennae and takes a drink of roach blood. Refueled, the wasp leads her zombie cargo to a burrow. But if the wasp can target her venom so well, why doesn't she simply deliver a death blow? Venom is used for defense, venom is used for feeding, but parasitoids use it for something totally different. They actually use it for reproduction. Inside the burrow, the wasp lays her egg on the roach. With survival of her offspring at stake, the wasp's precision now makes sense. Her young depend on the perfect execution of her sting. Now the wasp barricades the defenseless roach inside the burrow. For more than a week, the wasp venom continues to keep the roach calm and complacent, even as the newly hatched larva 
starts to eat it alive. From that single egg, uh, a larvae hatches, and uh, after three days, it drills a hole in the, in the leg of the cockroach and gets its nutrition from the blood system of the still zombified cockroach. And now for natural selection's test. Too little or poorly aimed venom, and the roach could escape. Too much venom, and it would immediately die, destroying the wasp offspring's fresh food source. Here we see the larva actually starting to burrow into the cockroach itself. It will crawl inside and continue to feed off of the internal organs of the cockroach. After another couple of days, it will enter a cocoon. If all goes according to plan, six weeks from the first sting, a new adult jewel wasp emerges from the hollowed out dead roach. The new wasp is ready to carry on its vicious legacy. If she's a female, her venom is ready to provide for a new generation. The wasp is a very specific hunter. It only hunts cockroaches and only cockroaches of this species. So every wasp that was born from a pupa that, was, uh, that emerged from a dead cockroach had a mother that knew exactly what she was doing. So in a way, the wasps are getting better and better and better at this. The only way the wasp can subdue a, a cockroach is because it knows its prey so well and it can inject the venom right where it needs to go and have the, exactly the effect the wasp needs.